Right guys, film farming q and I'm about to address all the different questions that you guys might have surrounding the topic of film farming. Now yes, I know it's been a while since I uploaded so we're just easing back into the upload schedule. I'm done all my final exams pretty much so yeah guys, we're going to hop right in. Let's get to it. So what is the most passive way to make a film farm? Now I know a lot of you guys out there don't actually want to mess around with the apps and you know reset a few things even just clearing a cache kind of bothers you now if that is you now this slide right here is dedicated just for you so if i were to run a 10 phone foam farm at the most passive rate that i can these are the three apps that i would use reclaim honey gain and earn app all of which will be linked in the description by the way now the reason why is because these three apps actually pay passively for real like you guys don't actually have to do anything after installing the app so what it does is it's actually a data collection app which means it runs in the background just slowly collecting data and paying you for doing so so realistically anything data collection related it's pretty much 100% passive I don't ever touch these apps here unless I'm trying to cash out but other than that guys you pretty much never need to open them, touch them, nothing. Now in this scenario, if you were to have 10 phones, you would be earning around 75 cents to a dollar per day, or roughly $25 a month. Now here's the thing guys, with these apps, you don't need high-end phones at all. You could literally pick up those $15 phones from Amazon, if they have them in stock that is, or even just go on eBay and just pick up some cracked up phones. Now at 20 to $25 a piece, those will get you decent enough phones, hopefully to run these three apps and you guys really should not experience any issues by doing so. So if you guys do that, roughly you'll get an ROI within 10 to 12 months, which in the investing world isn't too bad if you guys don't already know. What are the other options? Well, you can go with a semi-passive uh, method. This is my preferred method and yes, that is because you guys get a faster ROI and higher returns. So obviously this requires more work, so it's better for those who have extra time or just aren't actually that annoyed with putting in some work. So how do you actually utilize the semi-passive method? Well guys, I've already explained this in the previous video, so I will link that in the card above. Once you guys finish this video, you can click that or check the link in the description at the end. I will have the link ready for you guys right there. Now you guys also have mentioned better methods of foam farming and yes, there are better methods out there to make it more passive. One of the main ones out there is actually automation. Now using automate or other softwares, you guys can actually code specific scripts to have it run passively. So let's take an example of those swipe screen apps. Those are our main earners. If you guys could just simply automate the process of swiping it up and turning off the phone and swiping it up once again, that would actually increase the passiveness of phone farming by tenfold. Now the issues I see with that is if the phone is not high enough quality, you guys will run into some crashes. And at that point, if you guys have slower phones, it's probably better just to do it manually. Or if you guys want, upgrade and get better phone models. That way you guys can actually run these automation tools to help increase your passiveness. So have I looked into this? Yes guys, I have been looking into automating my phone farm as well as getting some content out for you guys so that I can help you guys automate it as well. Now I'm going to be very transparent with you guys. I am no coder. I have zero experience with that. So I'm learning this all by myself, kind of just like step by step, you know, just getting started into it. So don't expect anything too crazy anytime too soon. But guys, I do plan on getting a few scripts written out and possibly providing that for you guys in the future. However, I would not hold my breath for that one. But guys, I will say if you guys want to get into automation or anything related to, you know, a higher level of phone farming, I guess you could say, you guys should join the Discord server, which we have linked in the description as well. Because we got a huge community, because we got an awesome community there that talks about automation and even just anything related to foam farming, really. So another thing that's been popping up and a few comments I get once in a while is, oh, you know, foam farming is illegal. You're gonna go to jail, bro. So is foam farming actually illegal? Well, here's how I would view it, guys. It's kind of a gray area. It depends how you actually utilize your phone farm. Like if you were to actually influence the election results with your phone farm somehow, I have no idea how you would go about doing this, but obviously if you did that, that would be illegal. And honestly, those that have actually commented on the ad watching or the ad fraud, um, 
Guys, if you look around, there isn't much passive ad watching apps anymore. Like the last big one that went down was Perk, and that one was borderline somewhat ad fraud, but hey guys, I'm just gonna say, that's probably a reason why they shut down. Because most likely, the advertisers can't just ran dry, and that was probably it. Now the apps that still integrate ad watching into it, most of them are actually manually done, so that's technically not ad fraud because the ad is being played to an actual human being. Furthermore, other apps such as Play and Earn, like Feature Points, they're all really just services being provided. For example, if an app wanted to get more downloads, maybe to boost themselves up in the Play Store rankings, I'm not too sure exactly how that works, obviously, because I never coded an app before. But let's just say they just want to get a boost in downloads, they would go to Feature Points, pay them X amount to put their app on Feature Points, and we, the foam farmers, are really just filling that service to actually get them the downloads that they're looking for. So again, guys, is foam farming legit? Well, to be honest, I'm going to put it on a 50-50. I'm not going to say yes or no. But yeah, guys, that's my perspective on it. Um, I know I'm probably going to get some hate comments coming in from this, but you know what? I'm just going to share my ideas and... You guys let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So if you guys don't already know, we're somewhat in a bear market. I mean, everything's been tanking. Cryptos, S&P, Nasdaq, everything's just taking a dog crap, dude. But yeah, so during a bear market, is foam farming bear market proof? For now, currently, I would say so, yes. Reason why? Because profits have pretty much stayed the same despite like everything going crazy. Now the thing is, can it become less profitable? Of course guys, apps could go down, they could go bankrupt, ads could go away, you guys earn less. So obviously if it gets bad enough, as in the economy gets bad enough, I can see that the ads will start to disappear. Same with the apps because well, if there's no advertisers, there's no need for the apps, there's no need for the apps, we got nothing to actually earn off of. So realistically, is anything really bear market proof? Not really, guys. So yeah, guys, take everything with a grain of salt. I'm not telling you guys to go out there and just buy a crap ton of phones right now. By the way, if you haven't already done so, make sure you guys go ahead and actually smack that subscribe button so that you guys don't miss out on any future phone farming content just like this one right here. But if it's really something you guys actually want to get into, even as just a hobby, if you guys just want to own five phones, that's cool too. You don't have to run it like a business or anything. It could just be a fun hobby that you guys run on the side. But either ways, guys, if you guys just want to get into phone farming at all, I would recommend checking out this video on screen right here where we go over and more in depth about phone farming. So I'll see you guys over there. Thanks so very much for watching. Peace out for now.